the women are changing we, what the men don't care about. The men don't care about the big old lips. Yes, they do. And the, no, they do it. The women are doing that for themselves. Yeah. Because the men don't care about it. The men mm. would rather a woman change her stinking attitude than put on all that makeup and hair and everything. That's what the men want. But the women will go out there like, oh, I'm going to change this, I'm going to change that. If you look at a man and the man said, yeah, he's fat. The man will most, if he's feeling bad about himself, he wants to make sense, he'll go and hit the gym. What's the woman going to do? Go and do Get a BBL, get her lips done, put on her makeup, put on her hair, and stay the big old fat person that she is and say, oh, it's body positivity. The men don't even want that. And that, The women are not getting all this cosmetic surgery for the men. They're getting it for themselves. You can't turn around. What man wants a woman that's going to turn around, go and have an operation, they can't sit on a plane because her ass has been injected or been interfered with she got to lie there on her stomach you think the men want that or wake up in the morning before you got to hit the house she's got to put on I'm sure I worried about some of the men because they must go out with a woman Ooh. and then when they wake up in the morning they think who the hell is she the scars, by the time you take fish. everything off women need to change their attitudes before they change their makeup even more than that change your attitude because women will go out there and they want to change mm. this they want to change that all the things that don't count the same way how women can go out there and learn to put makeup on learn to cook learn to wash by hand learn to play that, that is so outdated, That's what you girl. need to do. That's outdated, girl. <laughs> she said, girl. Right. That's outdated. She's right. For who? I'm saying, it's like, you're. we had literally just talked about this off camera when we, when you guys came mm. here from the airport, when we were talking about, oh, what are, what's the value system or the point system for a woman who cooks versus a, a woman who can suck good dick and fuck well? But you like, can cook and suck dick as well. No, but, but, I'm, but I'm saying is, is that Pearl, if you can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, quoting her was that, it, when she interviewed people on the street, that there was more points given to something for, like a sexual return as opposed to, oh, wash dishes by hand as a dishwasher. No. Why cook? We can eat out. There's a chef. The, people don't get, they don't give a fuck about that. That's what they think. Like, no, they're doing yeah. that. But we and literally just talked you, about this no, yesterday. No, it was, okay, I did a street interview and I asked the guys, would you rather have a girl that gave good head or a good cook? And most guys. They want like, this. Uh, but I think that's for more, the I quick think, but satisfaction. I think, but I think that's more for like a one night stand. But, but what I'm trying to say term. is that if you, all the women out there, and they're talking about, well, some of the women want to be settled down. They want a man, right? And you got to think what the man wants. The man, the man ain't interested in that. Look at the people there that are happily married and ask them what they do. Because all the things that the women out there are doing, you can be a housewife, you can be going out, you can suck head just as good as any old tramp on the street and keep your man and have a man. <laughs> and I can say that because I'm 32 years in counting. You can't say attraction is not important, though. It is it important. Initially, for you to initially. Get, no, initially, exactly. You, a, a man is not not gonna find you attractive and then think, oh, because you you, you can cook well. It's got a chef. A man's Especially gonna find a man you attractive and he's okay, gonna. Okay, let's let's ask Andrew. He's gonna, Andrew, is, he, 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 would you be with a girl that's five out of ten because she can cook? Well, firstly, that's not what she said. To be fair, and to secondly, I'd be with a ten out of ten who can cook because I'm top G. But <laughs> to make the point, I think what you have to understand is what men are looking for in a relationship. So you did the the street interview you and you're asking single people probably young people probably idiots who know they're on camera talking shit about good head all this garbage this bullshit what men are interested in in life not just in their relationship but in their life as a whole is status i don't think most people understand especially women how competitive the male world is and how competitive it is for status this is why men do everything they do men buy the faster car not to drive any faster because of status it's why we want a bigger house we don't give a shit where we live it's because of status it's why i want to go to the gym and get big and strong because of status everything we do is about status it's why i want the better jobs so i want more money so i want to be respected so what's the number one thing we want our female to give us status that's what we want so she can give us status by being beautiful that's one thing she can do mm. but another thing she could do is if i turn up home and i come home with my boys and she says i'll cook you all a steak mm. that's status that's all my boys going ross you just been out all night and she's here and she's gonna cook for all of us and she'll clean up and tidy up boom that's the kind of girl a man's not gonna want to lose because it makes him look good Without that's what men want status suck a dick blah 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 listen <laughs> dick can only be sucked in so many ways i, I mean <laughs> No, and no, no, let's be serious about this. Have this you is, had the Gawk Gawk 3000? No, 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 this is actually a serious point, right? This is a very serious point because the Western world has collapsed in real time and it's a failed society. And one of the reasons it's a failed society is because of the over-sexualization, especially of females as a whole. If a woman comes up to me and goes, I'll be the best sex you ever had, I am fucking revolted. I don't want the best sex I've ever had. I want you to be pure and a virgin. You shouldn't know what sex is. Cook my fucking dinner. Shut up. Don't, hey. talk, don't come and talk to me about fucking sucking dick. It's vile. It's disgusting. I don't want to hear that shit. Can I say something? I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> what, what I want is a woman who makes me look good. No woman who's running around talking about sucking dick can make me look good. So I lose interest completely and utterly. And that's the truth. So what she's saying is completely correct. These are old school things, but it's not about the act. Yes, you can order food, of course. <laughs> it's about the status that comes with it. That's what it's about. Uh, Sagittarius spoken like a true one. Yeah. That is true. My it's man, look, my it's man's a Sagittarius. Yes. Keep 
Sagittarius. Listen, you well, my man's a Sagittarius. So basically, it's a straight shooting sort of conversation. But I think that sometimes we get distracted and we talk about the bicker bicker of between men and women. I think that the problem that men and women have is the consequences of the bad decisions that the one percent of powerful men make on our behalf. Because our problems are on a societal level, less than between women and man. That is why there's a lot of competition between men. This chase for status that they will never get. Wait, why, men, why is that the fault of the one percent of men? Because they're the ones that drive the machine that runs this. The Western. It's always been that way. Yeah, and but then think about the men that are at the top now. The corruption and everything that's going on. And this is why <gasps> it feels very good to sit next to somebody like you and just say, do you know what? I appreciate that you say things that are really true. You expose a very toxic truth and a very true truth as well that is out there. But the reality is, on the trenches, when you go to the grassroots, people don't feel the way that you feel. It's not as simple as what you say. They are victims of this system. So my job here is really not to try and make it about men and women. It's to make you understand that actually we need to start changing about, the narrative. You don't want to make it about men and women. They're then both women, messed up on either side. Because then women look bad. No, because it's about everybody together. Women have right, their traumas. Men have their traumas. I'm not here to fight against men and women. That's small. I, I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. I but know. the idea, the idea, the idea that this one percent of men have created this terrible society. Yeah, I talk about that. I talk about the Matrix. I talk about these things. But it's always been this way. It's always been a small elite group of men who are in charge of the world. And unfortunately, now we're fighting battles in different ways. The days of old, a man proved his worth by going to war. Basically, every man at any point in his life was going to end up going to war. And he came back victorious. He came back with honor. He got himself a wife. That's that's how it worked, right? Now men don't have to go to war as much, depending on where you live in the world, and it's slightly different. And we fight our wars in other ways. And one of the true expressions of testosterone and trying to really express your ability and your combative ability now in the in the modern world is power and influence. So in the olden days, you'd go to war, you come back with a ribbon. Nowadays, you got X amount of followers, you can move the world with money. I can bend reality with money. Please understand, I, if true. I walk into Jimmy Choo, they lock the door. No brokies allowed in. Tate's here. And I buy whatever the fuck I want. There's lines outside because I'm there. Mm -hmm. I bend the world with money. That's how I, That's how the wars are now won. You're talking about high status males and that it's always been that way now you have a whole contingent of men who aren't dead okay they didn't die in a ditch but they're lonely as fuck jerking off and that's the reality of it and and women don't give a fuck about them and why should you i'm not sitting here actually shitting on women in any way i think women have a biological instinct to a degree to try and find the best mate they can because it gives them the highest chance of survival and the harsh realities of the world and if they look at a man who's not capable they just don't feel an attraction to him and that's the bottom line of it and and that's why i actually most i'm, I'm largely misunderstood i don't blame women for a lot of the problems. Women are guilty of certain things, but I have a massive amount of blame to place on men because there's so many men who are genuinely incompetent. I, if I was a chick, I wouldn't fuck these losers either. Like, they're losers. So, uh, it's, it's hard. <laughs> Balance. It's hard. I love it. Do you know what I can't understand? Why people are always going for the 1%? All the women want to rush for the 1%. Why don't you just find a regular 9 to 5 person that's going to look no. after you? You can be his queen. Why can't you just do that? Why is everybody really rushing? I've mm -hmm. got a man. We don't go on social media. If it weren't for part, I want no night about social media. 9 to 5, I've got our own property, 32 years, happy as Larry. What is the problem? Oh. It's not old-fashioned. It can. It works. No, Auntie, this, this, let me clarify. When I meant 1% is not the 1% of attraction. I mean the actual people that are in charge of the things that run the world the way that what it I'm does. trying to say is that it's always been an umbrella we've lived under but the and then the function is, underneath it so why is it gonna affect me I'll explain why because as Sir Mr. Andrew King Tate said as he said I want to know what she's after I'll have, have this one after this point it is I've been drinking lime juice as well so as he very rightly said society has now evolved before men went to war, mm -hmm. now men don't go to war so mm -hmm. there's a lot of sense of no purpose that they need to find and then on the women's side is that the same way that a society evolved and made men feel less purpose, they have now had to take on bigger purposes, they have to go to work like they didn't have to do before they have to take care of the family and work and do all of these things and now deal with the fact that men are feeling a little bit like out of what you know. You get a 9 to 5 person right what is wrong with you going out there, find a regular 9 to 5 person, you can function underneath that because I'm always saying the women say oh we ain't got enough money we ain't got enough money work with what the man's got you're right work with what the man's got you can make a manual alpha everybody wants to go and find these top earning money find a nine to five work regular save your money learn to cook and not have takeouts and then save your money as they did before then you should direct this to the men that feel upset it's because not, they're not like not, Andrew Tate always direct she's, something to the man no, Why? She's, she's completely completely right I'll give you I'll tell you this there's not a girl on this panel or on the planet today who couldn't walk outside and find a man who's going to be nice to her loyal to her and make her his queen Mm -hmm. Women don't want that. 
So they'll sit there and go, no, I want Chris Brown. And then they'll go try to get Chris Brown. Then Chris Brown will cheat. And they'll be like, I can't believe he cheated. I am devastated. Well, what the fuck do you think is going to happen? If I go to the car garage, right, you have to make a decision what you truly want in your life. If you truly want to just find a man who's going to look after you and take care of you, you're going to be his queen, he's going to be loyal. You can find that all day, but you're going to have to settle to a degree where a lot of women perhaps are not prepared to do that. Mm. You see the, you see how women act. They'd rather chase a fraction of a real G's time than have 100% of the time of a fucking dude who they don't respect at that level. And it's kind of like going to a car dealership. You walk in there, you, if, you, if you want reliability, you can get a Nissan. But if you want to get a Ferrari, it comes with it comes with headaches. It's going to come with problems. So when girls say to me, oh, you know what, Andrew, you know, you should be loyal to that. Men like me don't have to be. And you know that. So why the fuck are you here trying to tell me what to do? Because you know I don't have to be loyal. And all the girls I'm fucking don't have to be loyal. So why are you sitting there pretending you expected me to be loyal when everyone knew from ground up day one it was never going to ever fucking happen and you're still here